Okay, so, hey guys, it's Nathan, and welcome back to another episode of PC Reactions, episode 3, I believe. And in this episode, I actually want to react to a like PC building video because I don't think that I don't think that you guys have seen me react to PC builds before. Um, you know, I've always reacted to like setups and everything and all that stuff. But I don't think you guys have seen me react to like PC building videos before for those series. So like I've watched I've watched a lot of these on my own time. So is probably one of my favorites um when butters built her um when butters built her pc two years ago so i think i'm gonna react to this video and if you guys don't know who noisy butters is she's a youtuber that i watch 300 for that in she's a um youtuber that i watch there's also like other videos that she has where she's building PCs, but this one per se, I guess like got her a lot of attention and drew a lot of people to subscribe to her, I guess. 2000 for this, way too expensive, but today I'm going to show you guys how to get all this stuff for a lot cheaper. Hey y'all, it's Butters, welcome back to my channel, hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. And today is the long-awaited PC building video. This, this is like two years ago, so I think she's like upgraded. She's obviously like upgraded her parts by now and stuff, so I just thought, I just thought we should react to some building videos because I've never actually done that. Well, I think I have. Not really. This is so overdue. I've had these parts for about two months now. Time to build. And before I start this video, I do want to let you guys know that I am no expert by any means. The last time I built a PC was when I was 19 years old and I worked at Fry's Electronics at the time. Yeah, she used to work at Fry's. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's, a, it's basically a PC store. Where, well, they're, they're practically everywhere. It's basically a store where you can get like PC parts, computers, um, you know, like parts to build a PC and upgrade a PC, um, like laptops and other things. Um, and I'm sure they have like cables and stuff as well. Or if you're thinking about building a PC, you can like order a case <laughs> if you want. I hope that PC building hasn't changed very much since then, but I'm no expert. But I figured I'd go ahead and record this video for those who might be interested. This is not a guide, okay? I'm just going to build my PC and hope it goes well. I'm going to go ahead and go through all the components that are here on the table. Um, if you guys want more details on them or where to buy them, I will definitely leave some links down in the description below. But to quickly run through them, I have the Vantex Evolve ATX case. I don't know, the Tempered Glass Edition, and it's such a pretty case. I just had to have it. It's so pretty. It's just the Tempered Glass, man. Look you know, that tempered glass always looks good. I mean, you have to be careful with tempered glass because it can crack or break. But tempered glass always looks so nice. Um, and I mean, you could like see the parts. Um, you know, you could see the parts. You could see the lights. If you have LED lights... Basically, LED lights in a PC case is just LED strip lights. Um, 
that you'd put in a PC case. Um, and I mean, you can get LED strip lights from pretty much anywhere. So. I mean, they just make, they just make a setup look nice, I guess. Bam! You don't also looks so good. Nice. I also have the C370 nice. Tai Chi. I have the GTX 1070 Ti Duke, I guess that's what it's called. I mean, it says Duke on the front. Uh. Here in this tiny little box that I love so much is an i7 8700K processor. But look at the box, isn't it so cute? Here we have some cooling, we have a 750 power supply. That's a tiny box. That's, that's so small. Look at the like, look at the box size. It's so small, but it's not. Well, like, processors aren't that big anyway. If you know what a processor looks like, it's not that big. It's, it's very small, so I see why the box is so little. But yeah, it's like cute and small and tiny. <laughs> Well, it, it looks mini, actually. It looks very mini. Supply, and we also have some Triton Z RGB RAM because I want to spoil myself and have light up RAM. I don't know why. I like colors, okay? I also have a 500 gig SSD, and I have some thermal contact. Yeah, light up RAM. And I also have... Like, I mean, some people don't like LED stuff. Some people don't like light up things. Well, too much light up stuff. I personally... Like, would I get light up RAM? I don't know. Like, would I personally get light up RAM? I honestly have no idea. Um, who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But, I mean, there's always... I mean, there's always decisions. I mean, people who like LED stuff. I mean, I love LED things, but, like, I'm not one of those people that, like, would go overboard with LED stuff. And this box is my hard drive, which I think is two terabytes. But like I said, if y'all want to know more about these components in particular, I will leave everything down in the description below. I also have some tools with me. I have two screwdrivers, one Phillips head, one flathead. I have a couple of zip ties, bigger and smaller, just for in case. And then I also have this little wire cutter. Yeah, I'm prepared today, y'all. And also one of the more important things that you need to have when you're building a PC, if you have any static discharge in your body and you touch a component, it will zap it and it will probably die. To protect against that, I have an anti-static band that I will be wearing for... Yeah, like, anti-static everything. Okay, let me tell you. Anti-static everything is very important when you're, like, cleaning... When you're cleaning a PC, whether it's, you know, the keyboard or, like, the... Or like inner components of the actual PC itself or the monitor. Just like, like anti static um, items are very important, whether it's the cloth or bands or things or like hair ties are also important because you can get your you can get your hair caught <laughs> in PC fans and that's not good. But it is bound to happen sometimes if you're not careful. Whole built. And then also another safety hazard, you do not want to have any baggy clothing and you don't want to have hair all over the yeah. place. So yeah, what she said. I'm going to go ahead and throw my hair really quick. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? I almost fell. <laughs> Funny story, when I worked at Fry's, I used to wear a ponytail all the time like this. I got my ponytail caught in um, some fans. I don't remember what fans. Yeah. I think it was just like the case fans or something. Yeah, you can like you can get your hair caught in pretty much anything these days. Like you can get your hair caught in fans, you can get your hair caught you can get caught in pretty much anything. So yeah, like keep your hair up or keep your hair in a bun or keep it braided at least. Or, you know, And uh, it was it was a little scary. It, it didn't last for very long, so it wasn't that bad. But uh, I learned my lesson, and now I'm gonna forever wear buns. <laughs> Here yeah. we go. I have a ball on my head. <laughs> Look at it, it's just a ball. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this build. I am so excited. So the first thing we're gonna do before we assemble the PC into this magnificent case is we're going to be doing a post test, which stands for power on self test. And what? The yeah. 
So, like, basically, when you build PCs, whether it's someone actually building it for you or, or like, you know, a company building it for you because, you know, you can't actually build PCs, which I cannot build PCs, but I'm very, okay, I'm very good with PCs. I just can't build them. So, I mean, I could obviously, like, upgrade parts, but, um... I could obviously, like, upgrade parts if I wanted, but I'm not very, I'm not very techie in the PC building department, so. What this will do is just basically let us know, hey, all these components are working properly because there's nothing worse than getting all your components, assembling into the PC, doing all the cable management, and next thing you know, motherboard ain't working, processor ain't working, who knows? So to mm -hmm. do a power on self test, we're going to need a monitor, which I do have, right? to take with this. Should I bring y'all closer? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm so professional. Y'all's yeah, gonna get super close. Yeah, take a look at that. Ah, here we are with our motherboard. I want to be careful with this stuff. There's actually something that I want to stress to you guys about the anti-static bag. The inside of the bag is supposed to keep the component from getting zapped by any extra static. However, the outside of the bag is very conductive, okay? So when you take out your motherboard, do not put it on top of this bag, okay? Bad idea. So this bag's gotta go. So here we are with our motherboard. It really is pretty. But the next thing we want to do is put in the processor. So that I'm going to go pretty. ahead and... Like, oh my god. Look look at how clean that looks, guys. Like, look at that. That looks so clean. I mean, I'm probably just saying that because it just came out of the box and it just came out of the bag. But usually, motherboards can be so dirty after they've been in a PC for... Like, after they've been in a case for so long because... PCs accumulate so much dust and dirt if you don't, if you don't, like, clean them out, um, and by clean them out, I mean, like, clean the dust out and everything. And do that, our little i7 8700K one, I don't want to touch the motherboard, but we're going to put this guy in, and he's going to go right here. So to install the processor, it says that this has to be removed, so, okay, excellent, we're good. Next up, we're going to move this pin out so that it can come up. And we can do this, and we can lift up this little panel, I guess. And here we have our processor in the plastic. I'll go ahead and take it off, though. But yeah, the processors are actually really small, so I see why the boxes for them are always so tiny. Do y'all see this tiny little square right here? This little guy costs $500. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He works so hard. <laughs> to determine the way expensive. that CPU is going to go, um, if you saw on the shield here, there's actually a tiny little arrow on this corner right here, and a tiny little arrow on this corner. Since it was laying this way, that means that the processor has to go this way and line up. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and do that and be very, very gentle because I do not want to bend any of these pins. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. Gently place it down. There we go. You don't want to move it around too much, but just like a, a tiny little wiggle just to make sure it's in place. It is. Perfect. And then now we're going to put this back over it, like a show. And then this should lock into place very nicely. It might take a bit of force. And there you have it. That is an installed CPU. Next up we have the RAM, and I got some really colorful RAM, and I'm so excited. You know, this band is supposed to fit on your wrist, but it's totally fitting on my forearm, which is fine. Go ahead and take out my RAM. Okay. So quick note about RAM and your motherboard. Depending on the motherboard you have, uh, the RAM doesn't just go in just the first two slots that you see. You know what I mean? I'll show you the slots, but they don't go in exactly in the first two slots. Sometimes they'll go in the first and the third. Yeah, or RAM, RAM slots and RAM insertion is a little bit weird. Second and the fourth. And to figure out which slots that you need to put the RAM into, guys, <laughs> motherboard directions. These are so Helpful. Save manuals. Always keep your directions, guys, because you never know when you're going to have to reference back to them. Save your life. Where's the RAM? Oh, here's the RAM. Okay. Uh, which slots do they need to go into, though? Okay, for this motherboard, you're going to put them into A2 and B2. I guess, like, 2 and 4, if that's, like, a more simplistic term. You know, it's so funny. I was saying, yeah, this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a PC. I'm not that pro, but... I'm kind of like walking y'all through it. <laughs> I may have graduated with a degree in IT, but you know, I'm still not the smartest person when it comes to building PCs. I'm, I'm very like timid with it. I'm very gentle. I just don't want to break anything. So I'm like super careful with whatever I do. I'm super meticulous. Here's some RAM. I 
low ramp. All right, back to the motherboard. So here's where the ramp slots are. Um, on the side here on the motherboard, you can see that this one's called A1, this one's A2, B1, B2. So we're gonna be fitting into A2 and B2. And all you're gonna do is line up this little notch right here with the actual notch on the motherboard, and you're just gonna slip it right in. Well, you might wanna unlock it first. That's probably a good idea. RAM installation, here we go. Yep, there you have it. That is some installed RAM. And next up, the second stick into the last row. And you're just gonna slide in with a little bit of force, you know? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now that we have the processor and the RAM installed, we're going to go ahead and move on to this, the CPU cooler. This is the H100i V2, um, but I don't really know much about it. All I know is that my friends recommended it to me, so that's why I have it. Hmm. So I'm taking a look at this cooler. This is not the conventional cooler that I'm used to using. This is a form of liquid cooling. Um, I don't think I can post test outside of the case. I think to use this cooler properly, you have to actually mount the motherboard and everything into the case so I think what we'll have to do is yeah mount it yeah I'm gonna go ahead and mount the motherboard in the case normally I wouldn't if I had <laughs> you guys can't even see me normally I wouldn't um if I had a conventional cooler where I can just post test outside of the PC but um I don't know what else to do with this thing so we're just gonna go ahead and uh start assembling in the case okay all right we did it hello tempered glass check it out yeah just so y'all can get what, a closer look at this here we go like. check it out man what is, what is this? What is this? We have a box. Hello. Hello box. Oh, it's an accessory box. Cool. Oh, okay. We got like the manual and we got, oh, beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted. Yes. Oh gosh. They made this so easy. Do you guys see this? How they assemble all the screws together in a box? Man, it's like a little tackle box. If you thought Amazon was cheap, try it with Capital One Shopping and then tell me what you think. While you browse Amazon, Capital One Shopping looks for coupons and promo codes. It's super convenient and super easy. And this is all 100% free. Sorry. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now it is time to mount the motherboard. I'm just going to go ahead and line this up with these screws that are already on the case. There we go. Nice. And then we're just going to screw them in. Honestly, I'm so glad I have tiny little hands because I can do stuff like this really easily. Man, oh man. Ain't that pretty so far. The next thing we have to do is mount the actual CPU cooler, and I believe there is a mount I'm supposed to put on the back of the motherboard, so, uh, I think this is it. Okay. Oh, okay. No, this is fine. I am understanding. I understand now. Okay, friends, little update. It's been about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, I'm not sure, uh, of me just trying to figure out this cooling thing, okay? The instructions were not clear to me. I didn't know how to mount it to the rack. I didn't... I think I got it right. I'll just put this damn thing in the case. I'm so done. All right, it's time to mount the actual cooling unit, and I have my thermal compound. It's already leaking. Oh, no. But uh, let's hope this goes well. Let's just do it in one fell swoop. No hesitation. Here we go. That seems on there. It took a fight, but I think it worked. And then we tighten these in by hand. These take forever to screw in. So next up, we're going to go ahead and install the graphics card, which I went with an MSI GTX 1070 Ti Duke. That's the name. And to install this, you just kind of pop it in. So I, I guess I'll show y'all. I mean, bring y'all down here. But before we put a graphics card in, we have to pop out one of these things so that the graphics card can fit through. And then we can um, connect our displays and whatnot. And you just kind of take this guy out, and it'll leave room for your graphics card. Okay, so here is the graphics card itself. It's actually really pretty. So now we made room. I'm going to go ahead and install this graphics card, and you have to take off this little plastic cover. There you go. And now I can plug it in. There we go. You hear that satisfying click? That means it's in. However, you don't want it to sag, so you're going to want to put in these little guys again over here. Sweet. That is a sturdy graphics card. I definitely want to do a post test as soon as possible, so the next thing we're going to focus on is the power supply. This thing is heavy. Oh my god, that's a load. Alrighty, friends, it is now time for the post test. It is currently like 4.30 in the morning. It should not have taken this long, so I'm kind of trying to be quiet. Yeah, I'm just going to power this on, and hopefully this powers on, and we get a signal here. If we get a signal here, then everything's good to go. <gasps> Please. Please. Please post. We did it. Oh my god, it works. Oh, thank heavens. Oh, I'm so happy. I have been so nervous about doing a post-test inside the case because I didn't want to, like, do everything and then have it not work. Whew. Oh, I'm so happy. 
Okay, so next up we're going to go ahead and install the hard drive, and then we're also going to install the SSD. So this is super self-explanatory. This came out of the PC. We're going to take off the side panels and put them onto the hard drive. And then we're just going to put the hard drive on here. Alright, so we're just going to fit it in like so. And then we just slide it into the dock like so. Is that lined up? Yes. Beautiful. There we go. So we put the SSD in the enclosure and we're just going to snap it into place like this. I did it upside down, but it's totally fine. Don't worry about it. I'm getting a little tired and I don't feel like doing cable management, so I will do that tomorrow, but we've come a long way. I mean, to get this from just a bunch of parts and boxes is awesome and everything works properly, which makes me very happy. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to bed and I'll probably work on this tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Hello friends, day two of working on the PC. I have my shirt tied up and I got my hair in a bun and uh, I'm going to finish this off tonight, I think. I don't know if y'all can see from there, but it's currently 5.35 in the morning. Um, I don't know what I'm doing up, but what we're going to be doing today is finishing off everything. First thing I'm going to do is install the graphics card. Now that it posted, now I feel confident putting it in, so that is the goal. So I had already installed it before, but just for the post test, I took it out. So we're just going to go ahead and put it back in. I already had these little uh, back plates uh, popped out, but we're going to go ahead and put in the Duke. Put it back, yep, we're just going to apply force, pops right in, and we're going to screw it in. I wish I had more to talk about while installing this stuff. Let me think. Do I have any funny stories from... When I worked as a technician, I can't think of any right now, but this is pretty secure. Hello friends, I probably should have vlogged this, but uh, it took a little bit to get the uh, the power supply into the... Yeah, sometimes, like, sometimes putting parts in can be very tedious and, like, okay, I know that building PCs, building PCs can take a long time, especially if you're, like, doing it yourself and you're... Like, if you're new to building PCs, go as slow as, you know, go as slow as possible. You know, obviously, pay very close attention to what you're doing because you don't want to mess anything up. And, obviously, like, just know that it's not going to take, like, building a PC is not going to take, like, one to two days. I mean, it could. It could, if you're, like, experienced, but the reason why some companies take longer to build PCs is because, you know, it's, like, a company and it has, like, other, they have, like, other clients to do things for, so, yeah, and they have, like, a whole process of how they do things, but, yeah, the whole building process, um, can take a long time depending on how experienced you are and depending on if you're doing it yourself how experienced you are or if you're going or if you're actually going with the company case um i don't have any cables attached to it right now because if i did it would have been such a mess so i went ahead and put the power supply into the pc case i'm going to tighten it in and uh plug in the cables and then do a lot of cable management so yeah, let's do it. So I have most of these cables plugged in. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh my heavens, I'm a little overwhelmed. I went ahead and also plugged in the hard drive uh, cables just because I can. But I wanted to show you guys something about um, the SATA cable itself and how I learned how to uh, make it more space efficient, which is coiling it up like this. Which uh, I don't know if this is efficient yet, but uh, I'll show you guys how I do it anyways because... It, it, it's, it's nice, it's space efficient, which is really important for when you have really long cables. So basically what I do is, this SATA cable is too long, personally. So what I do is I take a, um, do I have anything else? No. I usually take like a, like a long stick of some sort, something kind of thin, but I'll just use a screwdriver for now. But all you do is you just kind of go like this, and then you wrap it around the actual screwdriver itself. If I can get a good grip on it. So you just kind of wrap, like so. And you just keep doing that over and over. But yeah, if you keep doing this and you keep it tight, it can keep things close like this. So if you have like a short distance from your actual SSD to the motherboard, you can do something like this and uh, adjust it accordingly inside the case. I'll go ahead and finish this up and I'll show you guys how it works. Okay, so I went ahead and coiled this up and it has to go up to this SSD right here. So all I gotta do is just whoop, see how it kind of stretches like this. And it's also it's just super space efficient. So let's see if I can plug this in while holding the camera. Probably not. There we go. Not bad. And then it's got a little bit of stress on the cable, but not too bad. But as you can see, it just made everything really space efficient here. And I can just kind of, you know, smack that down, tie it alongside the other cables and stuff. But I took a really long SATA cable and I made it 
a lot shorter. Okay, so now that I have everything pretty much plugged in besides the actual power cables, I'm going to plug these in. Now it is time to do some cable management. Also, by the way, for this, uh, for this cooler, I actually snaked the wire behind the graphics card just because I wanted to be super sneaky, but yeah, it's time to do some serious cable management, so... Here we go. Actually, before I do cable management, it's probably a good idea to uh, screw in the power supply, so I'm gonna do that really quick with these little guys. I think the part that's taking the longest for this video is not necessarily the building, but the uh, adjusting the camera to get the right angle. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, you guys almost fell and died. That would have been so bad. I'm so sorry for pushing y'all. Oh goodness, this video is a mess. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. No, everything's okay. It's okay. Looks good. Another thing I decided to do before I started doing a lot of cable management is making sure that everything's plugged in and working properly. So keyboard's working, USBs are working, all that jazz. And we got here and it recognizes two um, bootable devices, which is the SSD and the actual hard drive. So it's looking good and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually do this now. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually do this. Yeah, you know, I never wanted to do cable management. Cable management is such a pain. Like, you guys have no idea how much, how many people like stress how important managing your cables is because it's very important. And I know that there are people out there that stress the importance of managing your cables. Ever again, <laughs> this was. Very difficult, but on the bright side, it's not going to be too bad because not a lot of people are going to be seeing this side of the PC. They're going to be seeing the other side, so as long as the other side looks good, I'm cool with it. I mean, to be fair, the cables are managed, so I guess it's okay. It's so funny, people at work and at school and everywhere I go and the internet tell me, you yeah, they're so good at cable management, Hannah. Wow, how do you do it? You know, I'm not that good at all. I'm actually very average, I think. I said if I could put the glass panel on and it won't provide too much pressure, I think we'll be okay though. Okay, the glass seems to fit, so that is a good sign. By the way, y'all, here is a close-up of the cable management I did on the front, and to be honest, that was the most important to me. I want it to look pretty from the front, so... And I think it looks pretty damn pretty. It's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. <sighs> so it is official, my PC is finally built. So now I can chill, I can take off this anti-static strap, and I'm gonna take down my hair too. Whew. All right, okay, finally, my head can breathe. So now that we have officially built our PC, we're gonna go ahead and test it out on this monitor and hope that it works okay. I'm a little nervous, but very excited to go. Please post. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What is happening? Okay, so we ran into a little issue, but nothing too big. Uh, the graphics card is not working properly. I think what I have to do is install the operating system and then install the drivers for the graphics card. Hopefully, uh, but for now I'm going to take it out and see if I can just get Windows installed and then we'll work from there. It's the wonderful thing about IT. Stuff breaks and you have to fix it and you have to troubleshoot. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to troubleshoot. Okay, so I can tell I went ahead and pulled out the graphics card. So now we're going to try and boot with the onboard graphics and hopefully that'll work. Fingers crossed. It did before, so it should again. Right? Alright, fingers crossed. Go. I think I broke something. Putting everything together. Doing cable management. I definitely broke something. Okay, to troubleshoot this first, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the RAM and see if that helps at all. You never know. Yeah, okay, the front and the back panel are off. And I have one that's little RAM stick that I removed, so let's go ahead and Sometimes RAM can make a PC not work correctly. I don't, I don't know what the deal with that is, but it happens and it can be so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But you like take the RAM stick out, turn the PC on, and then once you figure out that it works again, you put it back in and it works fine. But it's. I'm sure I must have accidentally unplugged something. That has to be the case. And that's so annoying because I did all this cable management. No. Thank heavens. I got it to boot. What I did was I took out the RAM sticks. The first one that I tried didn't work, but I tried the second one. And it works. I don't know how. You know, IT. You know, that's computers. They, they just love to just. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So now that this is working properly, I'm going to go ahead and make a flash drive with Windows 10 on it. And I'm going to install Windows 10. 
Um, and then once I do that, then I'm going to install the graphics card again and then download drivers for it because I think that was the issue. Or maybe should I try the graphics card again? No, this is working. Should I, should I try it again? I'm going to try it again. I'm curious. I know some people say if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but you know, I'm an IT person and I just kind of want to try this out. See if it does anything. Go. Okay, everything's working. Oh, it posted. Oh, it posted with the graphics card. Hell yeah. That is so awesome. I'm so excited. So now I know for sure that my graphics card is good to go. Woo, thank goodness. It's this cursed guy. I don't know what he's doing, but he's just a little guy. So I'm going to power this off for now, make that flash drive, and then install Windows 10. Here we go. Alrighty, friends, I have created a Windows 10 installation on this little flash drive. I'm going to plug it in and boot from it. I just got a message on Facebook. That never happens. And now we boot it up. Go. These cables right here are so unsightly. I'm sorry. Oh, I should probably press the... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I forgot. I have to press them. No. Beautiful. We got the wonderful Windows 10 installation screen. So I'm going to go ahead and run through this, and I will see you guys in a bit. So here we are with a freshly working PC and a fresh installation of Windows 10. So... Yes, everything's working properly. I'm gonna go ahead and update the drivers and download Chrome, download some software, you know, do that whole spiel, and I will see you guys when I see you guys, really. I don't know when. Hello, friends. We are back with this PC, and I realized that when I was building this thing, I thought it came with an LED strip light. It's something that I really want to add. Yeah, like, some, some computers or some PCs, their cases come with LED strip lights. And some don't. Personally, I I am a sucker for, for LED stuff, but I'm not like that whole, that, you know, the whole LED in your face person. Sorry, I had to turn this down on my charger because my computer is done charging. I thought it came with one, but it didn't. So, I went ahead and ordered one online with Amazon Prime. I went ahead and ordered this Fantex RGB LED strip light combo set. There's another one where it has just the LED strip light, but I went ahead and went with the combo set just in case. You never know. You never know if you want oh, this video is taking so long to film. I'm so sorry. This is probably going to be the only video that you see from me tomorrow. Well, I'm pre-filming this so that I don't have to film tomorrow. I'm just filming for tomorrow. Um... And I've been filming for 32 minutes, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm back. I want to add more, bam, more lights to your PC. So I went ahead and just ordered the combo, and it's time to install this. I'm excited. Now, my question is, how am I going to move this thing? This thing is so big, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm so small, and I'm so weak. Uh, I'll take off the sides first. Hello? Hello? There we go. Let's remove the front as well. Beautiful. Now, how does this work? I don't know. Oh, then I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, we unravel the LED strip. Oh, it's so tiny. What? Why is it so short? <laughs> it's so small. He means well. He's just a little guy. I found some instructions. Is that helpful? What? I'll, I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Okay, so I have it plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and power it on the PC, and hopefully it works. I mean, I don't know what I'm expecting. Oh, Whoa. Look, look, look. That looks look. so... Look! It lights That's up. so bright. Yay, I did it right. <laughs> I think if you press this button on the case, it'll change the color of it, too. Oh, my God. It's breathing. It's changing colors. Oh, my gosh. Wait. <gasps> wait, why do you keep going back to that? No. Why does it keep fading back to that one color? No, I don't want you to... No, stay. Okay. It's going. It's changing colors. Oh, we need to put the other one in right now. Okay, guys. This LED strip has no idea what it's doing. Can you... Do you guys... What, okay? All right, buddy. Are you going gonna to make it? Um, let's just install it, and maybe it just needs some drivers or something, because it's, uh... It's having a party. It's not sure. <laughs> okay. All right. No, we'll make it work. Okay, friends, I went ahead and got it to work with a little bit of fidgeting, but I want to go ahead and show you guys like an in-depth view because I was looking up on YouTube. Nobody really shows you how to install it, so I'm going to do my best to show y'all. Okay, guys, to install LED strip lights on a Fantex case that already has this little connector for LED strip lights, okay? So you have the connector, right? You're going to plug it in like so, okay? It's going to go here. It's going to go around to the motherboard, which I'll show you guys in a second. 
Then here, it has another little plug. This is where I put the extender cable, okay? So this is the extension, right? Okay. So I, I roped the extension up this way, okay? The extension comes out up here, here it is, and then it goes to the LED strip light here, okay? I hope that makes sense. And you can also chain these LED strip lights together, right here. But bam! There you go. Uh, I will say, I don't like seeing the LED strip light. I only like to see the actual glow from the LED strip light. So I'm probably going to play around with this a little bit with the uh, placement. It's just hard to put it smack dab right here because it has these little guys right here that are going to prevent it from just laying flat. Um, you can do that down here somewhat, yeah. which is kind of nice. So you can just push it in like this. You don't really have to see the strip itself. But this one, not so much. So I'm a little undecided on it. If, if this bothers me enough, I'll just take it out. No big deal. But... That is where we're at. That looks so nice so far. I mean, I remember watching this. I remember watching this, like, I think it was last year, if I remember correctly, um, was when I started watching Butters. Um, videos was last year. Um, I don't know, like, obviously, you know, quarantine, I was bored, I needed something to entertain myself and I would watch noisy butters all the time and I watched this video but I don't really think I paid all that close attention and a year later now that I'm watching this back a year later to actually react to this I feel like I'm paying a lot more attention for some reason, I pay a lot more attention when I react to things. So, yeah, there's there's one thing. And also, I don't really know what's happening with the colors. Um, I I thought it was supposed to breathe like a like a rainbow color. This is not a rainbow color. It's a little confused. Um, maybe it just needs drivers. I'm gonna hope that's it. I managed to hide the LED strip light a little bit better. I put it on the side of the case like this and kind of under these little little notches here so I think that looks a lot better than actually seeing the LED strip light so yeah no this, this is looking nice also I think I forgot to mention the RGB header is actually right here on the motherboard so just letting you guys know but it will be different depending on the motherboard you have PC so big it's hard to get it in the shot all right y'all I believe the build is finally complete and I am so happy with this PC I've heard a lot of people say that this case has a lot of issues with cable management because of the back panel and a lot of people say, yeah, be, be ready to do some serious cable management. And, you know, I, th I think I did okay on the back. I mean, I've done cable management before. Uh, I, I think it turned out all right. Uh, down the line, I can definitely make it a lot prettier with some better power cables and not the default ones that come with the power supply. But for now, I'm pretty happy with it. That also goes for the cable management in the front. I think I did a pretty good job. There's a couple cables here and there that are visible. Uh, the hardest part of this build, for sure, was installing the cooler and the radiator because... I've never installed one of those in my life, and I had no idea how it worked. So I had to go online, and there's still not very good guys online on how to do it. So I got really confused and got really impatient. It took me, I think, two hours to figure it out, so... Two hours? Man. That's tough, but at least you figured it out. <sighs> at least I learned, though. I learned for the future. But besides that, I didn't run into many problems with this build. I mean, it didn't post at first uh, for some reason, which you guys have seen. Um, then I had to, you know, take out the RAM sticks and test it without certain RAM sticks installed. Then it worked, so, I don't know, it's, you know, IT. That's just kind of how it goes. Stuff breaks and you have to fix it. What else can I say about the build? I plan on using this build as my permanent content creation slash streaming slash gaming setup. I'm going to be editing a lot of videos on here, making thumbnails, playing games, recording. You know the drill. I'm going to be using this PC for a lot of reasons source intensive stuff and I think it'll be able to handle it and it's really pretty to boot. Wait can I turn off the lights? What if I turn off the lights? I want to do that. I want to see it glow. Whoa that looks so cool. I need to turn off my projector but damn that looks so nice. Wow it's a little spooky in my room now but do you guys see how magnificent this PC is? Oh so I hope you guys enjoyed this PC building video. Like I said, I'm no expert, but sometimes, at least for me, I find it really enjoyable to watch somebody who isn't an expert. It's fun to watch them troubleshoot and yeah. run into brick walls and figure it out. And uh, I definitely ran into a couple brick walls, but uh, we got it figured out, so it's fine. So now I'm probably going to go ahead and set up the rest of my room so I can get into the recording, gaming, streaming scene again. Uh, for those who are new 
new to my channel in general and found me through PC Building, hello, how you doing? Um, I play video games a lot. I play video games on YouTube and on Twitch, so please be sure to follow me on all my social media if you would like to. I play mostly Call of Duty, Guitar Hero, a little bit of Fortnite, Skyrim, really anything that interests me. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. And please comment down below what you guys think of my build and my cable management. It's okay. You can be harsh and let me know, okay? It's totally fine. I just want any constructive criticism, okay? Okay. Bye bye What do you guys think? What do you all think? I named it Mordecai. Is Mordecai the PC? I like Mordecai. I think Mordecai's a beast. Here is a great hack on how to save on Apple products. You get awesome promo codes so, on iPhones and AirPods. Sorry. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this reaction, for this episode of PC Reactions. And I will probably film another episode. I don't know, tomorrow or I don't know, but this is this is pre-filmed for tomorrow. So yeah. With that said, I am going to I'm going to go. You guys will be seeing this tomorrow. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna post it today. It'll be up tomorrow though. For you guys to see it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will leave the link to this video to the original video in the description um in the description below so yeah and if you also enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and with that said i'm gonna go because this took me 41 minutes to film So, yeah. Bye, guys.